Hey everyone, on a very grim uh, wet Saturday morning down across England and Wales with the weekend forecast today. Going to have a detailed look at the weather for the next seven days across the British Isles. Uh, it's going to be turning more and settled through the course of the coming week. I think we'll get some gales actually get through towards the latter stages of the week. And also some quite heavy rain coming through on Wednesday as well. Um, it's going to be turning milder though later on in the week. We get very mild down in the south for time around Friday and into Saturday. So a changeable start to uh, 2015, to say the least. Now, before we get on with the weekend podcast, just say about the ads. There's links to articles on most of the pages at gaswebbers.com. Have a browse through the widgets, any articles that you're interested in. Please do uh, click through. There's green keyword ads on some pages. If you like us at opening keywords, they display ads. If you click through the word, go to advertise website. You support gaswebbers.com when you do that. And there's also... Uh, uh, yellow weather related ads on most pages so see what those are about and click through those if you're interested in all these things are helping to pay the website thanks so much for getting involved thanks for doing that the websites we're using for the weekend forecast we've got the radar picture and some charts at the end from the weatheroutlook.com and also charts at westcentral.com you can find a link to both those websites on my links page so uh, let's get on with it this is the uh, radar picture a bit of a north south split uh, today got some wintry showers across the north of Scotland but uh, the rain is really down across England and Wales some heavy rain there uh, stretched out through England and Wales it's a little bit more uh, showery patchy down in the south west but some really wet weather across parts of the Midlands northern income down to East Anglia and south east and it's not all rain as well there is a little bit of uh, sleep mixed in with this and I can uh, show you this if I change the display over that little green Green area just there uh, from the North Midlands going up in towards southern parts of Northern England. Very similar area to the places it got the snow on uh, Boxy Day evening. Actually, it's in that sort of zone. That uh, green area is indicating where there is some sleet. And so that is quite heavy. I don't think it will amount to too much, but uh, over the higher ground, uh, it could give a covering of snow uh, later on this afternoon as this rain uh, sort of clears away. But overall, it should stay as rain or sleet, really, for most parts of the country. Here's today's synoptic pressure chart. We're bringing a trough through the south of the country, building a ridge behind it within fairly cold air. So. Cloud and rain down across England and Wales through the course of the afternoon will gradually push down towards the southeast, but it'll probably be uh, towards the evening before it clears East Anglia and southeast England. Then it's much brighter across Scotland and that'll be pushing southwards in towards northern England, northern Ireland, Wales, and Midlands by the end of the afternoon. Pretty cold today. Temperatures in the far south on the uh, southern side of this little trough are actually quite mild along the south coast, could be up to 10 or 11 degrees, but generally we're going to be around uh, 3, 4, 5 degrees today. Day, feeling really quite cold and miserable. And then it turns very cold tonight as that trough clears. We build this ridge across the country. So clear skies will come down across the country and it'll turn very frosty with temperatures at least as low as minus two or minus three in many places, even in towns and cities, uh, you're likely to go uh, sub-zero tonight. In rural areas, you could go down as low as minus five. Of course, with all this rain around, uh, there'll be a lot of puddles, a lot of service water around, so a lot of that's going to freeze. We may have problems with ice uh, later on in the night across England and Wales. So if you're off out and about early tomorrow morning, do take care. It could be quite icy on the roads and pavements if they're untreated. Uh, to start the day on Sunday. But Sunday should be a very nice day under this uh, ridge of high pressure. We're going to find uh, plenty of dry and sunny weather coming through. Very cold start, of course, but that sunshine should uh, melt most of the icy patches away. Um, it's going to be a pretty cold day, though, despite the sunshine. Temperature's only 2, 3 or 4 degrees. But uh, later on, it'll turn a little bit cloudier and slightly milder for western Scotland and Northern Ireland as this southwesterly flow begins to pick up. That's really a sign uh, that things are coming. But a very nice winter's day for a Sunday uh, if you wrap up warm now as we move through into Monday that high pressure is slipping away into Central Europe and we begin to establish a southwesterly flow still lots of dry weather on Monday but we're going to increase the cloud perhaps starting off with another frost down in the southeast but uh, the sunshine that we have in the south and southeast uh, first thing on Monday will tend to fade I think through the day as cloud edges in from the Atlantic uh, but it should stay mainly dry away from the far west of Scotland and the far west of Ireland where there could be some rain uh, arriving later on in the day temperatures will be lifting up so around seven or eight degrees in the south and in the north and west we could be up to around 10 degrees across parts of western scotland and ireland by the end of monday 
going through to Tuesday, we're bringing a little uh, weather system uh, through the country. Um, it's storming as it's coming across. A bit of a complicated one on Tuesday. Overall, quite a cloudy day uh, and a fair amount of uh, dampness coming in uh, from the Atlantic. Wouldn't necessarily say it's going to be very heavy rain because as this front is coming in, it's sort of running into this area of high pressure across Central Europe and it is sort of dying a bit of a death. But uh, there will be cloud and rain around on Tuesday. Probably quite a damp, dreary sort of day. Maybe even some mist and fog coming down down onto uh, higher ground in particular and with cold air tucking in behind this uh, stalling weather front some of the rain has the potential at least to turn a little bit wintry particularly over the high ground so across the Pennines the Welsh Mountains again the Staffordshire Moorland same sort of area areas that are getting asleep today uh, really there could be a little bit of winchiness around on a Tuesday overall quite a mild day in the south with temperatures up to 10 degrees but in the north it will be colder uh, with cold air tucking in behind that weather front just two, three, four degrees, much of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and western parts of the UK. Now, things get shoved on as we move into Wednesday with this very deep area of low pressure developing around Iceland. It'll give everything a push, and we're going to bring some active weather systems through. So, although we may start off dry and fine across central east parts of the country, maybe with frost and icy patches, wet and windy weather is going to sweep in from the Atlantic, and that wind and rain will uh, push across all parts of the country through the course of Wednesday. Some quite heavy rain driven on, but as you can see, by the track back to Isobar, driven on uh, by gale, maybe even severe gale force winds across northern and western parts of the country. Conversely, temperatures will be lifting up, so most places will get up to around 10 degrees on Wednesday, 10 being 50 in Fahrenheit. We move through into Thursday and that stormy spell is carrying away to the east building a very transient ridge of high pressure across the country ahead of this next area of low pressure developing in the central Atlantic so Thursday will be a quiet today any persistent rain will clear overnight Wednesday into Thursday I mean it's a day of sunshine and showers and the showers could be wintry across Scotland and Northern Ireland and Northern England particularly over high ground rain probable at lower levels central east and some parts of the country staying mostly dry uh, with sunny spells temperatures will take a bit of a dip uh, only down to around average really between around say three and eight degrees and then we go through into friday bringing another area of low pressure in across the country this one has some very mild air on its southern side so temperatures will get a bit of a push up i think as we go through to the end of the week could become very mild down in the south temperatures on friday may reach 12 degrees that is 54 fahrenheit could be a little bit higher as well any cloud and rain is likely to be in the north and west but overall i think we bring quite a bit of cloud across the country with the rain up to the northwest um and it's windy as well tight packed ice bars uh, so uh it's not probably it probably isn't going to feel as mild as it will be but it could be a very mild day across the country on friday going through to saturday uh bringing a weather system down across the country i'll probably take a band of cloud rain across england and wales with cooler uh, air following to scotland sunshine and showers there another very mild day is is uh, possible uh, down in the south it could be up to 13 possibly 14 degrees that's somewhere around the mid 50s fahrenheit but eventually it'll turn cooler from the northwest and that could be the trend as we go up to the middle of the month i won't show you the charts but there are indications this morning that things could turn quite a lot colder uh, as we get through into the middle of january and beyond into the second half of the month i'll be keeping you updated on that we'll do an update tomorrow uh by the way i've got the january month head forecast coming up later on uh, today at the website as well here's the charts and weather outlook just showing me weather in your area a lot of uh a lot of rain across england and wales on saturday with brighter skies edging down from the north there's gonna be a frost and icy patches tonight but it'll leave a nice day uh for sunday plenty of sunshine uh coming through on sunday although it will be cold remember it could be an icy start so take care around that early tomorrow um monday mostly dry more cloud coming in off the atlantic through the course of the day on wind on the tuesday we've got this band of cloud and rain coming across the country uh it's it's like turning light patch it's sort of dying out it's coming across the country it could give a fairly uh, miserable day this is indicating a fair amount of sunshine i think there'll be more cloud around than this is suggesting then wet and windy stormy conditions coming in on wednesday 
back to uh, sunshine and showers on Thursday and then Friday potentially uh, uh, could turn quite spring like down in the south to be honest with temperatures possibly going up into around 12 or 13 degrees that stays with us as we go through into uh, Saturday and then probably Sunday it turns cooler again so in summary it's a changeable week we're going to be seeing the rain today clearing away to leave a colder night and a colder day on Sunday could be icy patches to begin with go through into next week uh, it turns milder uh, and generally more unsettled certainly by Wednesday it's going to be wet and windy um, the temperatures fluctuating day by day but nothing uh, particularly cold uh, that's it for now and thanks for watching